Good afternoon, Rich Nass with Open Systems Media and leader of the Embedded Computing Design franchise. I'm here for uh, another of the videos that we're shooting with PicMeg to introduce the COM HPC spec. Uh, as you've heard earlier, this is a huge deal for the embedded industry, the um, industrial computing industry, because we're going to push performance up a few notches. Um, in this particular segment, I have Max Chi, who is a senior product manager for Advantech, and he'll be talking about the journey to the Com HPC client. So, Max, how are you today? Good. Rich, hi, how are you? I'm, I'm good, good, thank you. Um, so, what does that mean exactly when you say the journey? Where are you going to take us with this presentation? Okay, so basically, Com HPC has two specs, right? One is server and one is client. So, today I'm going to focusing on um, COM SPC client, and I will introduce all the details regarding this and also how the COM SPC client can benefit the market and the users. So here's the topic today, the journey to COM SPC client. First of all, let's start with market trend. This year, 5G starts to be widely adopted around the world, and indeed, it changes the world a lot. It helped AI and IoT to make a big progress. So more and more devices are getting connected to the internet and more and more data are generated. As a result, the demand of edge computing rises and also the market requirements become different as the followings. First, connectivity. The ethernet speed and IO bandwidth need to go higher to transfer the data to the cloud. Second, latency. The response time needs to be fast, and now real time becomes an important critical task. Third, performance. The computing power needs to be leveled up in order to shorten the time of data processing and analysis at the edge side. Fourth, scalability. While the world changes so quickly, it is important to be as quick as possible to adopt new technologies and make it time to market. So with those requirements, it all can show us that all the value markets can be impacted and the equipment of each market needs to be upgraded in order to meet the requirement of edge computing. So we have mentioned New technologies are coming, right? So what are they? First, P-size first gen 5. It brings 32 GT per second high speed and it makes IO revolution to provide you more possible usage. Then USB 4. It integrates USB, display port, and PCI Express signal all together with 40 uh, gigabit per second bandwidth. So it makes USB a powerful but easy to use protocol. Next is display. The new HDMI 2.1, DP 2.0, and EDP 1.4B allow displays to be extremely high resolution like 4K, 8K, and even the coming new higher resolutions. The last is ethernet. One gigabit ethernet is not enough now. So more higher speed, like 2.5 uh, gig, 10 gig, 25 gig, or even 100 gigabit ethernet are coming to meet the requirement of high speed data transmission. So with those, uh, all those new technologies require high bandwidth. And as the bandwidth goes high, how to deal with high speed signals becomes an important critical task for hardware designers because more signal pings will be used and signal quality needs to be well taken care. But please don't worry. This is, uh, this is why Peak and G created Cam SBC4 is to solve this. So the picture here shows you Cam SPC, a new standard with computer module concept. The computer module concept simplifies design and make development easier. So with the new COM HPC standard, you can adopt new technologies in a fast 
and easy way. But you may be wondering how? Well, let's talk about the advantage of computer module concept. First, it simplifies system integration. So once the carrier board is designed, multiple modules can be used on the same carrier. It's one for all concept. Also, the modular thermal solution and fixed IO design can give you easy migration and make the effort to change the new generation CPU smaller. Second, it secures core technology. Specific market know-how technology and protocol can be well secured on your carrier. And also, you can simply focus on your carrier design to meet IO and system requirement of your uh, market. Third, it reduces design effort. While the CPU and the high speed signals are designed on module and taken care of by module vendors like us, you can shorten development schedule and lower development cost. And the most important thing here is time to market. Um, the, com uh, the computer module concept lets you keep the, uh, keep the same carrier board for multiple CPU generations. So one-time carrier design lasts for a longer period. Okay, so now we understand um, the benefit of computer module concept and we know how ComSPC use it. But how ComSPC is different from the current existing, uh, existing Com, FCB, uh, Com Express? Well, simply speaking, um, Com HPC is not replacement to Com E. Instead, it's complement to Com E for higher end CPU, more memory, and faster I/O. With the current Com Express Type Six, Seven, and Ten, uh, they are for general embedded purposes. However, the new coming Com HPC server and client, they are at higher precision targeting for high performance purposes. So with the current Com Express and the new coming Com SPC standard, the computer and module solutions can be full range covered. Okay, let's move the main topic today, Com SPC client introduction. So Com SPC has five sizes, but Actually, ComSPC client only use three of them, size A, B, and C. Um, as you can see here, all the three sizes are with the same screw locations and portable connector positions. So with one carrier design, you can use three different kind of modules. It's flexible and easy for migration. Second, CPU and memory are defined on the top side. So the heat generated by CPU and memory can be easily and better dissipated. Last, because all the mounting hole positions are the same, the thermal design can be unified and leveraged. And then let's move to the key features. The table here shows you the key features of COM SPC client. Due to the time is short, I will highlight some important ones for you. First, PCI Express. Comex PC client supports PCI Express Gen 5 with 32 GT per second high speed, and it gives you 48 lines for more expansion options. The USB 4 integrate USB PCI Express display and power all the functions together to provide you flexible design ability. Ethernet, Comex PC uh, supports 25 gigabit ethernet for uh, uh, high speed data transmission and also it leaves optional IPMB support for remote control possibility. Last is power. This time the Comex PC is not limited to uh, x86 processor. And because the CPU TDP is supported up to 100 watt, you can use more powerful pro uh, processor like desktop CPU to have higher performance. 
On the other hand, COM SPC also modifies uh, embedded EEPROM spec to add new structure and increase the EEPROM size to store more information. And the most importantly, BAS will be able to read EEPROM and adjust IO configuration to match module and carrier settings. Now let's talk about portable connector. As the picture here, you can see that CAMS PC has two types of connectors. One is for module and one is for carrier. For module, it's female type with 68.82 by nine millimeter. And for carrier, it's male type with uh, 68.82 by 8.75 millimeter dimension. For height, module connector is five millimeter high and Carrier connector has two options, five millimeter high and 10 millimeter high. As a combination of module and carrier, you have two options. If you wanna have thin design, you can go for five millimeter high. You can also go for 10 millimeter high if you wanna have more components to be implemented on carrier. The new portable connector is with 400 pins and total is 800 pins. Because we have 800 pins, it can support more, uh, more IOs. And also the connector itself is high speed rated. So it can support higher input power up to 358 watts. And also it can support uh, high speed IOs with the new generation and new standard IOs. Then let's talk about mechanical. Before starting to explain this picture, I would like to highlight one thing first. CAM SPC only defines heat spreader as a standard thermal solution. However, the CAM SPC leaves option to, for module vendors like us to make semi heat sink or semi cooler to be used on top of the heat spreader. So back to the picture here, CAM SPC defines two different kinds of schools. First is M2.5. It's for heat spreader plus module plus carrier, like the uh, red ones in the picture. Another one is M3 for heat spreader plus semi heat sink or semi cooler as the green ones in the picture. You might be curious about how the system will be assembled. As the picture on the right hand side, first we place module on carrier. Second, we made portable connectors uniformly. And third, you assemble spreader, a heat spreader module and carrier board all together by the mentioned M2.5 screws. And that will be the standard thermal solution or standard mechanical that Cummins PC defines. The total height of heat spreader plus module plus carrier have two options. If you go for five millimeter high uh, portable connector, the total height will be 22 millimeters. And if you go for 10 millimeter portable connector, the total height will be 27 millimeters. As I mentioned before, uh, except heat spreader, module vendors like us can provide heating, semi heat sink or semi cooler to be attached on top of heat spreader. So if you want to do so, look at the blue side and you can screw them by the M3 screws. Then Commerce PC has prepared some reference documents for you. First is module based back. It's mainly for module design and it defines uh, all the technical details, including feature, pinout, signal quality, power, and mechanical. Also, for uh, users like you, Commerce PC also prepared carrier board design guide for you to design your own carrier board. It is with reference information like schematic, layout, and I implementation suggestions. And lastly, Commerce PC prepared software spec. First, like the mentioned, embedded EEPROM spec and also the IPMI spec or so-called platform management interface spec for you to use if you want to implement remote control ability in your system. But that's not all. 
Module vendors like us at Ventech can provide design guide and checklist for every single module or platform. Also, we will be able to provide you services like uh, schematic review and layout review to shorten your development schedule and make it time to market. Okay, that's all about Commons PC client spec. Finally, let's check how the Commons PC client can benefit you. First, let's start with technology usage. With the new USB 4, with, uh, you can simply use one type C connector for multiple different usages like uh, power adapter, or you can connect to monitor, you can connect to external storage, or even using uh, external high-end graphic card. Also, USB 4 is fully compliant with uh, Thunderbolt. So it can give you uh, more possible design uh, abilities. Next is PCI Press Gen 5. With the 32 GT per second high speed, you will be able to connect to the latest expansion cards or devices like FPGA, NVMe, AI acceleration card, GPU or BMC, and so on and so on. And also because the speed is very fast, it also leaves you the possibility for future technologies or future usages. Why the CAMX PC client brings new technical usages? The CAMX PC client can also benefit the market. For example, medical. With the larger board size and higher CPU TDP support, it can use high performance CPU like desktop CPU for high performance along with scalability and flexibility. 5G. With the new high-speed PCI Express Gen 5 and 25 gigabit ethernet support, you, uh, it allows you to connect to the latest FPGA card and also with the high-speed data, uh, high data transmission for edge computing. Gaming. Um, because the new portable connector and high speed IOs, next generation IOs, with those, you will be able to uh, use the extremely powerful next generation graphic card with smooth AK display. Uh, these are just three examples showing how the Commons PC client can, ben can benefit and offer you. But in fact, all the virtual markets can benefit from the new features, enhanced functions, and phaser IOs of Commons PC. So that's about the end. But before we finish, let's quickly do a small wrap up. So today we've talked about how the market and technology change, why PKMG created Commons PC, what is Commons PC, and how the Commons PC can benefit you. Again, Commons PC is complement to Commons Press for high-end CPU, more memory, and faster I.O. The purpose of Commons PC is to offer complete computer module solutions. Now, the PKMG and all the members like us are doing final work and we expect to release spec and design guide in Q1, 2021. Lastly, module vendor like Adventac, we have completed Commons PC product roadmap and we will release right after spec release also in Q1, 2021. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you.